I got a 97 Ford Ranger with a 3.0 V6 and a bad water pump. Oh, we're going to take off this intake hose between the air filter. Two five sixteenths nuts. And we're going to unplug intake air temperature sensor and crankcase hose. Fan clutch takes a 22 millimeter wrench and is left handed thread. Get that on there and give you a couple of good hits. Once that's done, 10 millimeter bolts, two of them holding on the fan shroud. That comes all out in one assembly. Yeah. Release these four 10 millimeter bolts. And we'll loosen the belt tensioner. Slide off the belt. Get these four water pump pulley bolts. Put a drain pan down. Loosen the drain cock valve. Perfect. To gain access to the water pump, the uh, idler pulley and tensioner pulley and AC and power steering are all hooked to a bracket, and the bracket is in front of the water pump. And there's three bolts up front. There's one up front. Two. There's one back in there. Okay, there's one back behind. You'll have to take off the tensioner pulley and get that bolt way back in there. Three, pol three bolts in the front. And then there's two bolts on the back side. One there. And one there. Get those five, bolt five bolts off and then we can set the whole, whole bracket to the side. So those are in a triangle. Mm -hmm. Long bolts up top, two short bolts are in the bottom. Uh, okay. The other one's way down there. So there's a bolt under this um, AC line retainer. If you take that off, it'll give you a couple more inches on this AC line to get this bracket out of the way. It's just a nut. Boop. Oh, I'll probably slide off. There you go. This thing's kind of heavy. I got some. Uh, so say, I wonder if I can ratchet strap it up out of the way to something. Okay. So I got a ratchet strap hooked to the ceiling, and this uh, whole AC bracket uh, power steering pump assembly. Give it a couple of clicks. Now we got access to the whole water pump. Yeah, these uh, couple bolts out here on the end of the water pump are behind that tensioner bracket, so you can't get those off. Take off this hose. Back in the back, there's a hose right there, hooked to the water pump. Take off those two hoses. So now we got bolts all the way around the perimeter of the water pump. At least it's 13 millimeter for almost everything on here. Two bolts and more three bolts. Boop. Is that a pass through? Yep, that's a pass through. So all these bolts are going to need silicone when they go back in. It's just a bolt in the dirty. Yeah. Out with the old. Nice. So I just got a drill with the brass wire cup on it. Uh, 
after cleaning, should be able to put some silicone on and reinstall the pump. Which is the one you're gonna add? We Did were, well, he was trying to put it in one of the back rooms, and you're like, it's not gonna fit. We couldn't. Uh... Yeah. Um. Reinstall our hoses. What are you all about? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Reinstall that hose. All right. Let me go over there. Got one started a little bit. You're holding the transmission up or something like that. Uh, can't right now. I think you should get a 90s. Yeah. yeah that's, another, that's another part of having an old car. Mm -hmm. But it's paid for. Yes. Yep. Yeah. As long as, as long as you remember that while you're cussing working on it, then you're fine. Uh-huh. Well, it helps not having that fan on there. Yeah. Drain cock valve is tight. The hose is tight. So clamps, bolts, hookups, we're good. There we go. Okay. I think the <laughs> Yeah. Man, I'm freezing this bad boy. Did you? In 30 seconds. I think we fired up. Jeez. This, is, this is not that cool, by the way. Fire and hold. Doing that, so we'll getting air bubbles here and we'll call it good. All right, we got to touch these down real quick. Make sure we don't have any, we'll have to back it up, dry ground, make sure we don't have any leaks. That should stay on there, shouldn't it, like that? Yeah, I don't think it'll be fine. That, I guess that was already like that. Alright. That's it. You got it? Yeah. Well, I just need to change the oil. Adios. Oh, and then the oil?